Welcome to this series of videos where we talk to Dr. Warren Corns, who's Research and Technical Support Manager at PS Analytical, about uh, mercury and the various issues to do with mercury in the environment and analysis of mercury. So Warren, what is mercury? What's special about it? Well, mercury is a naturally occurring element that can exist in different forms. In its elemental form, uh, we know mercury is a shiny, silver, white metal. It's unique because it's one of the only metals that is a liquid at room temperature. Um, it will freeze at about minus 39 uh, centigrade, which causes all sorts of problems in the natural gas industry. And it also boils about 357 degrees centigrade. Mercury is very dense. It's approximately 13 and a half times more dense than water. Really? That's... So that's quite heavy then. I, I mean, I know on the internet I've seen photographs of uh, a guy sitting on a vat of mercury. Effectively, you couldn't sink yourself into mercury just by sitting on it then? No, you could float a cannonball. And if you were to try and submerge your arm into a vat of mercury, the pressure on your hand would be in excess of 20 feet of water. Wow, that 20 feet, of, that's six metres deep. Well, that's deeper than any swimming pool I've swum in. Yes, it would be quite uncomfortable, it would be quite a challenge to put your hand in that far. Wow. So in actual fact, uh, I mean, we talked here, you know, we're talking here about a guy sitting on mercury and putting a hand into mercury. You wouldn't recommend people actually come in contact with mercury? No, absolutely not. Mercury is extremely toxic. It has a, um, a high vapour pressure at uh, room temperature and inhalation of mercury is a particular problem. So its contact should be avoided at all times. Mercury also exists in its inorganic and organic forms. Ionic forms would include salts such as mercury chloride, mercury nitrate, uh, and, this, and these can be present in the plus one and plus two oxidation states. Mercury can also be organic. Um, this can be uh, naturally formed in the environment by bacteria. Um, the most common form of organic mercury is methyl mercury, but you can also get diethyl mercury forms as well, such as dimethyl mercury, which are actually uh, more toxic than other organic mercury forms. Choosing the right mercury analyzer for your application is critically important. Changes in legislation, demands on laboratories, and uh, changes in the, the way in which instruments have to be used mean that getting the right instrument initially, one time, can be very challenging. We've put together a white paper that's dedicated to helping ensure you make the right choices. It's entitled, The Key Questions You Must Ask When Choosing a Mercury Analyzer. And these key questions will almost certainly be different to the ones you expect. Put your details in the box on the right and we'll be happy to send it straight across to you right away.